What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another magicthegathering.uk slash internet browser bing competitive guilds of Ravnica Draft. We are going to do this on the arena of Magic the Gathering. I'm going to confirm this purchase, and we're going to open this Pelty Boy. Uh, I don't know if that's the pick. I'm kind of off Boros right now. We did a Boros draft earlier today. We went 2-1. That was fine. Then we did a Golgari draft, and we went 3-0. Right here, I like Deadly Visit. I also like Disinformation Campaign. I like Sky Knight Legionnaire. I don't... I'm going to take the Legionnaire over the True Fire Captain if I was to go Boros. And I don't think... I think Pelt Collector is good. But I don't think it's better than either of these. Where did Rob come from? Is Rob here? I don't think so. I'm probably just going to take the Deadly Visit. It keeps us open, and I like being open. Let's be open, everybody. Um, I like Night Veil Sprite a lot. I think it's very, very good. I would hope to wield a campaign, but I'm not sure if the client prioritizes things. Like, I don't know if they prioritize rares and then uncommons, etc. So... I think it's actually just Night Veil Sprite here. Night Veil Sprite is easily the best pick in the pack. Um, the only There's no way to not stay black here, unfortunately. I do like a Crackling Drake. I also like Command the Storm. We haven't been Izzet in a while. Maybe we discard the, uh, the Deadly Visit? I don't know. That seems bad, though. Like, is it worth taking a Demir Informant over, like, a Crackling Drake or Command the Storm? We could also be Grixis. Grixis is a very... Uh, reasonable. Look at that knifey bug. What are you even saying right now? There's a knifey bug? I think, I mean, if we're going Grixis, Command the Storm is probably better than Drake just because of color restrictions. But maybe not. I don't know. I think Drake is strong enough to take here, and I think we can also get more Command the Storms if we really wanted them. Uh, Inescapable Blaze is probably one of my favorite cards in the format, so I'm going to take the Inescapable Blaze. And, uh,. Not going to look back there. Also, Electromancer. I think it's actually more important to have Guild Gates than Electromancers if you are two colors. So, I'm going to take the Guild Gate here. We could also just not play this and play Electromancer instead. I think I'd rather have the Uncolored Guild Gate. Legionnaire. We can actually get rid of this and play Bora, uh, Jeskai now. That is an option. It's one of the best cards in the pack. Hmm, it's actually not terrible. Actually, we have Dispersal Discovery. I think Dispersal Discovery is actually fine. We can take Dispersal Discovery. Oh, Demir Guildgate. See, now we're talking. All right, so that's Commitment. That's good. I like that. Um, Yep, nothing good in here whatsoever. I'll take the Lurcher just in case. Not going to play any of the other cards in this pack. Eh, Sonic Assault is nice. Devious cover-up is okay. I like Devourer of Lights. I think a 4-5 is actually very, very big in this format. I've actually liked uh, Dowser of Lights a lot more the more I've played it. Usually, if I'm going three colors in this format, I will take a Glaive, and it does end up doing some, some solid work for us. So, eh. On-color locket. Not terrible. Probably not playing one Dazzling Light, let alone two. I like Hypothesis here, but this also is... Two five drops already. I almost might like Sinister Sabotage better. Is it Sinister Sabotage or is it Hypothesis? I'm telling you, it's sabotage. I'm, t I'm t Oh, it's oh, you're just doing a little. Uh, you're doing a little Beastie Boys meme. I'm telling y'all, y'all, it's sabotage. Yeah, we can take the hypothesis. We also aren't necessarily in Grixis here. Lead Guild Mage is probably one of the better Guild Mages. Just being able to draw a card a turn every every turn in the late game is pretty strong. That's a late hatchery spider, but. 
human beings are not picking them. I actually like Thoughtful Fan- Thoughtbound Phantasm a lot with the Night Vale Sprite, Discovery, uh, Deadly Visit, etc. So I'm going to go with this guy. Artful Takedown. All right, this is this is this is good. There's also a Guildgate on color Guildgate in that pack, but I'm fine with not taking that. Fresh Face Recruit is an option. Radical Idea is an option. Cosmotronic Wave. I'm not looking at any of these black cards here because we could actually just splash the uh, the non-double black cards. But it, depending on how many Guild Gates we get, we could just splash both of them. I kind of like just having Cosmotronic Wave for the sideboard. I think it's a very strong card in this format. Is it Guild Gate? Probably what we're taking here. Actually, Capture Sphere is a really solid removal, so I'm going to take Capture Sphere. I would love the on-color Guild Gate, but I'm not too concerned with it. Again, not playing black is an option. Let's take Sure Strike. I don't think we need a second Disdainful Stroke. And I'm not even I'm not even in love with Disdainful Stroke in the main deck here. Uh, so I don't think we're actually a, an Is It deck because Is It is very very different. You want the creatures that can attack early. You want the the cheap spells, but we don't actually have those. So I'm actually going to take Vapors here. Maybe it's Radical Idea. It's definitely one of these three. I'll take Radical Idea. Another Dowser of Lights. It's probably the pick here. It's not great. I'm not going to play this, this, or this. But Dowser is actually a big dude that can close out games. Yeah, Bats is not great. It's not terrible, though. Passwall Adept is good. That is a playable card that I have no problem with. Leapfrog, same thing, especially with Radical Idea. And yeah, another Radical Idea. And... Yep. No, can, 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 Connive Concoct. That's probably what we're taking. There's nothing really better in this pack. Deadly Visit's good, but I'd much rather have the... Uh, the tiny control magic slash the reanimate spell. The versatility is very good. Plus it surveils. So it triggers our surveil matters things. Plus we can probably get another deadly visit if we really wanted one. Not sure if we do. Um, This is an electromancer pack for sure, I think. I don't think we want another five drop. And we're, our removal is actually very, very good so far. So I'm going to take the Electromancer here. Demir Spybug is actually perfect, especially when we have, like, Thoughtbound. We have a Night Veil Sprite. So now this gives us two different creatures that we have uh, that can take advantage of all the surveilling. So I don't think we actually need any more removal. I'm probably just going to take the, uh, the Demir Guildgate here. And maybe Capture Sphere comes back. Who knows? Um, uh, Whispering Snitch is actually pretty reasonable. It's a good blocker, and it, we also have a bunch of, uh, again, a bunch of Surveil's Matter stuff. Um, Piston Fist Cyclops is probably the pick here. I don't care about the devious cover up here. You're really enjoying Arena? Glad to see it. I was hoping you'd come around. <laughs> I was, I knew you'd come around. Um, I mean, I think it's fine. It's, I think it's improved a lot since the last time I checked. Uh, Dazzling Lights we can put in the sideboard. Demir Locket, we don't care about. Bardas and Bats, we don't care about. Deadly Visit might be too... Uh, too strict. Sure Strike is not a Sure Strike deck. Actually, now we're leaning more towards Demir. Uh, I don't think we want two Radical Ideas. It could be Sonic Assault number two. It also could be just like Severed Strands. Just Sacrifice something stupid. But I don't think we have that many throwaway creatures with this deck. Uh, I do like Unexplained Disappearance because we do have some Surveil Matter stuff, so I'll take that. Child of Night is nice. Leapfrog is pretty good. I think it's probably Leapfrog. We, we, we don't have that many three drops. And I actually do like Leapfrog. Oh, I like a Dark Blade Agent, especially with our Surveil, surveil Matters things. Uh, Notion Rain seems good with our Surveil Matters things. All right, so this is nice. This ended up coming around pretty well. Another unexplained disappearance. All right. Maximize altitude is good. 
devious cover up is fine and the dazzling lights all right actually <coughs> we might just cut the red here or we might just actually cut some of the heavy red like i don't think we need electromancer um we can cut drake and blaze and then we're just blasting for hypothesis and sonic assault and league guild mage which is nice in the late game don't like cutting blaze but i think we're actually good without it we can cut you you're more of a four drop and this is actually this should be 40 right i don't know it doesn't say anywhere does it all right cool all right so this is three mountains three red sources eight nine ten eleven um Seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, two, three. I think three is actually fine for two, three red cards. Uh, actually, maybe the glaive isn't that great here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sonic Assault's always just fine. I don't think it's actually a card where you really need a bunch of things to go right. We could actually just play Devious Cover Up. Take out the Sonic Assault. Take out um, the glaive. And bring in like a devious cover up, which I'm okay with. I can see playing another Dowser of Lights. Maximize Altitude is very good on Dark Blade and Piston Fist Cyclops as well, just because. Um, I mean, I would sooner play a. Uh, I would sooner play the Locket than I would play an 18th land here. How many creatures is this? 11 creatures? Yikes. I probably just want the Dowser then. Yeah, I like that better. And how many is this? This is 10 blue sources. 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to cut one of these and add one more of these. So this is 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 9, 8, 3, which I think is fine. All right, let's see what happens. a lot of lands but I think it's fine we'll draw things I guarantee it our opponent's also on the play so well we did draw something all right so there was a thing on magic online where if you have five lands in your opening hand you're just guaranteed to draw like two more lands and uh, I'm really hoping that does not prove to be true here well okay doesn't seem like they fixed that, so... <laughs> That's kind of funny that the same issues that plagued Magic Online as far as drawing a bunch of lands are... already cropping up in Arena, but I don't know. I mean, it's a small sample size, so... Seems good. EOT Crushing Canopy. My Halloween just got canceled. I was going to trick or treat with my friends, kids, but all three are puking with... Yikes. Yikes. I mean, it's probably best that you don't, uh, you know, mess around with all that. And anybody got time for that. Uh, I don't think that's confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is when you're looking for it. Like, I'm not really looking for it. I mean, okay, so, like, confirmation bias would be saying, like, I don't know. It's it's hard to... I, I'm having a hard time explaining it. Like, confirmation bias is me looking for Priuses on the road. Hey, look, I found... A, I saw another Prius. Here's another Prius. Here's another Prius. Like, um... You got five, huh? But the difference is, like, me saying, like, okay, uh, one car is gonna drive by this one specific time, and if it's probably gonna be this car. 
and then it is that car and i'm just like okay so i have to say i had a feeling it would be that like it's Like, because there's one specific situation where this takes place. It's when you have five lands in hand. And then this thing happens. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're just going to kill... Oh, God, I really want this on the board first, but... I'm not going to risk a 1-1 counter just so I can... Um, I don't want either of these. There's a lot of lands. What up, Kobux? They have two cards? It's actually not bad. We have a Capture Sphere and a Thought Bound Phantom. I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, that was actually a good draw. Alright, so now we can go this guy and a Dowser. Dowser is a nice, sizable dude. No attacks for obvious reasons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is fine. Like, if you want to pump it and play a trick, okay. If you have Pax Favor, okay. Could have blocked with both, but then we guarantee losing this, and maybe they thought it was plus three, plus three. I don't know. Like, I can't say what they think is... Uh... Yep, all right, so that's fine. They could have also tapped this if they had Pax Favor. They could have been five... Six, seven, eight, nine, or it's uh, it would have been two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then both of those guys would not have actually made a difference. So, um, seems to actually unexplain this guy because it lets us get in for another three points here, and we don't have to draw that, which is nice. The birthday dog. That's hilarious. How many lands are in our graveyard now? Three? Four? One, two, three. No. Yeah, four. Wow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are only seven lands in our 23 cards. So less than 33%, probably closer to 30. Yep. You can have that. Tempted to play this now, but again, like if we draw like Hypothesis, I'd rather keep up mana for that. Like we have a lot of things. If we draw something to play, we can play it. Um, yeah, we can play both of these things now. Combat attack. No attackers. End of turn. Oh, tell her I said happy birthday. I don't think she'll know, but... Do you have a second crushing canopy in your hand? I guess, I imagine we should have gone to attacks first. I think we're still in the main phase. Oh, no, we're in second main now. Okay, sure. Seems good. But it does not seem good. It seems bad. Um, I'm just going to pass turn here. That was not ideal. Actually, I was, wow, I was very much hoping they would do that. That's pretty nice. Uh, 
However, I hope they don't have something aggressive that they want to resolve here for five, like, uh, or like a siege worm. That'd be pretty rough. <laughs> you got a roar in response. I accept it. I accept a good roar. Oh, that's a nice one. And they know we have this, but we do have things like radical ideas, so I don't see a point of playing it. This is nice if they don't have an answer, though. Just being able to draw an extra card every turn. I think putting costumes on. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, sure that it is silly, and that's basically the point of it. I don't think anyone is doing it with any sort of seriousness. Thankfully, none of my guys have natural flying. So we could draw a card. We'll draw radical ideas. We'll attack for three. This guy's got reach, though, doesn't he? Dang. I was actually hoping for a hypothesis. Well, that's kind of funny. We could also just draw a card here. But I think we'll probably have a hot sizzle. That seems fine. Oh, resolve. I don't know why I would have to respond to my own hypothesis. But here we are. Ooh. Um. I think Mike B has returned with his with his sandwich. Michael B has come back with a sandwich. I have. He's not gonna eat it though. He's just here with it. Not with not 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 in the room, but in the house. No mukbang. No mukbang. Oh, muk. I got gotcha. you. I thought that was your favorite. I thought that was your favorite YouTube sensation. No, I think it's weird. Why would you just want to watch people eat? I'm just getting real excited. Alright, so we are going to not use all of our swamps, because that seems bad. What, uh, what game is this? This is game 76 of 94. I'm glad I got a real answer out of you. Uh, this is game one. Is this competitive or friendly? Everything's competitive, Michael. You just no, gotta I fight mean. for it. Um, it's One competitive. game or three games? Competitive three, three games. games. Okay. Well, best of three. Yeah, you get it. That is nice. How much? First to two. I think we're just gonna pass here. And then we can keep first to two. That's correct. Best of two system. No, it's not best of two. Yeah, I know that that would be like literally one. You're my no, you're my one loss on that All Hallows Eve draft. Got him. Got him. Uh, target creature. What can I do with both? How do I do both? How do I do both of them? Just try clicking them and see what happens. Oh, okay, that was not intuitive. Oh god. Tap, tap target creature, so tap this guy, kill this guy. Hope that works. I think it's in it's in order, so I'm gonna assume the first one does first. Yep, perfect. Intuitive. Also, Blue Max, good games, buddy. Good games. So four, five, six, seven, eight, so we can go one, two, play this guy. Let's get some damage in. Did you hear that? No, that was definitely Felipe. Oh, is he outside? 
think so. What a weirdo. Unless someone else is outside doing that. Play the land because we want to give three creatures unblockable. Three, four, five, six for Xaxes next turn. And uh, that is nine lands. And we have won the game. We are good at Magic the Gathering. Sometimes. Sometimes we're not. Sometimes we are. Sometimes you eat the bar. Sometimes the bar eats you. I kind of want a Disdainful Stroke in here. What do you think about that, Michael? I haven't seen enough of this game to know if that's good or not. You've seen everything. <sighs> so, have they sponsored you? And They have not sponsored me. I've been on Arena just because uh, it just seems relevant for me. i got to keep up with the times, give people what they want. Cup is empty. My cup it runneth empty. This is a good hand though. Turn two, turn three, and then Notion Rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Notion Rain. Got any sweet cards in this deck? You think Tezande is uh, copyrighted? You think I could play Tezande without getting demonetized? I would be very surprised that song is not monetized. I yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <clears throat> oh great. Fast late to the party. I guess we're just going to play that guy instead. If it, is in, if it isn't, man, it's that guy missing out on a lot of money. Yeah, he's probably got like seven bajillion views. Oh, that's pretty old school. It might have been before YouTube nope. was like, made you money. Oh, uh, yeah, but then you could just change it to being monetized. And also, I'm pretty sure YouTube always made you money. I think way back in the day it wasn't. like. Yeah, like in the, when it first started. Sure, sure, sure. there was commercials and stuff. That was probably before Google bought it, which was a long time ago. Now. Ocean Man? I don't even know what Ocean Man is. You know what Ocean Man is? No. Same. Thank you. Kayers, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, this guy's not I bet it has to do with a man in the ocean. I was a man in the ocean once. Dark Blade Agent. What's your red splash for? Uh, League Guild Mage, Hypothesizzle, um, that might be it. Got any sweet rares? I don't think so, actually. Our deck is pretty standard. Oh, it's my Spinal Centipede. Hey Mike, you want to see my Spinal Centipede? Yes. I don't have one, okay? Hmm. If I'm allowed, yeah, go ahead, link it. Yeah, I think everyone can post links now. Ain't nobody got no... Uh, never blocking this guy. Really? Yeah, what, they just discard a creature and trade with my guy. Why would I block this? I didn't actually know what it did. I thought it was just CG. Someone linked us the song Ocean Man, apparently. Let me get demonetized. Ocean Man! Okay, I think I do know that song, actually. Yeah, now that I heard it. Yeah, ocean man, all I had to hear was man. all I had to hear was like two seconds of it. Um, I'm just gonna pass here. Keep this capture sphere up. No attackers. And the next turn, we can no strain or pass wall, or we can douse So we got some options. Ocean Man. I'll let you attack. What you bringing? What you bringing? No blocks. I'll take two again. Deal. It's all these little symbols on your cards. I don't know what they mean. I don't know what these means. I think it just means it has an ability. And clearly the Rook means a defender, so I get that. Yeah. That's good. Call it a rook. I think that's the name of that piece. Could be wrong. A rook. Well, can you tell us a story what inspired your screen name? Um, yeah, so when I was born, my parents gave me a name. My daddy gave me a name. And he walked away. Remember that song? To the other room. 
Then he came back cause he raised me. Do 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 do. Yeah, do 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 is right. Uh, keep. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that is a rare, I guess. I didn't need a land though. I was asking you for no lands. I imagine we're gonna be uh, getting blocked here, but you know what? That's fine. All attackers, one attacker. Is Generous Stray better on the board than any? Oh, well, I get to draw a card. Holy biscuits! That was a good one. So I think the clock thing is triggered ability. The concentric circles, like on the trooper, is an active ability. So this is an active ability. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm, st I'm totally stealing that. Oh boy, this is gonna feel good. One, two, three, four, and we can play the guild mage afterward. Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits and gravy. What if they have packs? Oh, they have packs. Packs favor. That's pretty good. I'm uncomfortable with this. I got so excited, and now I've gotten let down. My. Yep, that was not what we were hoping for. That is a sad day, my friends. A sad day. I got so excited. Oh, well, that card's gonna run away with the game, as it always does. Michael B. gave me a name, and he walked away. Why did you walk away after that? That's kind of rude. You didn't think you needed anything else? <laughs> I just thought we were done. Oh, a burglar rat. Well, I'll get rid of my... Probably the is a guild gate. I don't need two red for anything. I don't need two red for anything. For nothing. Sure. Nothing for me, man. You okay, man? I think I got ripped off Publix. You ripped off Publix? I think I got ripped off at Publix. Oh, that's the exact opposite. I think they forgot to give me my discount on my on my on my sodi pop and my. It comes up naturally cheese. if you order a sandwich. Does it? Yeah. Check your receipt. I did the math wrong in my head. Well, you can just look at the receipt. That'll that's tell you. Point. Ah, no blocks. I'll take two. You're a whispering snitch. Pack my man. Order on TV. Nothing. No attacks. Yeah, if they didn't have Pax Favor here, this game would have been significantly different. They also had to have three creatures. That's sad. So many things are so sad right now. Is it possible they deck themselves? No, they actually have more cards than we do. I also didn't get the sub of the day because it's gross. What was, what was the sub of the day? Chicken Cordon Blue. Yeah, I ain't about that. I ain't about that Cordon Blue life. You got it. Take my Dowser of Lights. Chicken the cordon de bleu. It's from the French. Do you know the French? No. <laughs> Good talk. You need a little spritz, man? You can... There we go. Wake you up a little bit. Wake you up before you go. Isn't there a way to lose Defender with that guy? Yes, if he has three or more counters. Okay. So he has to be a 4-4. Four, 5-5. Four. Five, five. Are you doing it? What are you doing? I don't know. Just clearing out my mouth. Are you sure? Yeah. Clearing it out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's weird. You know. That's weird, clearing, dude. Clearing it out.
My daddy gave me a name. This chat is not active. I know, Why? right? Why are the people so quiet? Is everyone in sleepy mode? Did we lose all the viewers? Yes. Are we down? Yes. Sure. Oh, I see. Uh, this is an interesting block. Copy disappearance to make your phantasm a 5-5. Five five. Ooh. 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 I mean, I know they have another pack of this thing. Necrotic wound. Sure. Uh, yep, keeping that on top. Faux show. Uh, these triggers are fine the way they are. Boo. How that thing sounds. So we're just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have nine. We can actually draw a card and play Deadly Visit, which is nice. And this guy can start attacking. And we get to gain another life and draw another, do another thing. And uh... oh, Zombie versus Hall. I mean, that actually makes sense. I understood that reference. Did you? I say, did you? Yes. This guy, huh? I'll take two again. Oh, you decided against it. Hey, you decided against it, eh, dude? Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five. That's me, about enough of that. Me, daddy gave me a name. He did. That's about enough of you. Yeah, that's correct. And keep you on top, put you on the bottom. Uh, trigger those both. Both of them. Pretty sure it's more important to attack for five here. I don't really care about this guy, to be honest with you. Or we can just not attack, draw a card instead. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So next time we can attack for five, six, seven, eight. Um. Sure. Because this puts them to eight and means next turn we have five, six, seven, eight unblockable. So. Mike's saying, did you sounded like the beginning of the crazy train? Really? I think you might need a spritz too. I'm indeed. Alright, I'll do a spritz. Oh, you might need a spritz? I, I, it's definitely like it's kind of it wakes you up like it's definitely a refreshing feeling there's a little friendly fire on that spritz man I don't it know got what, to me too I don't know why dog <laughs> I don't know why dogs dislike it so much they don't know what's going on here what oh you just crushing canopied the thing like during your during your own turn I think you're still dead, my friend. Unless you have prey upon, but in which case I don't know why you would have gotten rid of that. Okay, so you're dead. That's good to know. Are you gonna are you gonna blow up your face? <sighs> and he walked away. And he walked away. All aboard! <laughs> We can also just kill both of these guys and attack like normal. Um, yeah, which you're probably gonna do, right? Done. Tap. Oh, it says target a creature to tap. All right. Still had all these. I mean, remember that time Beast Whisper didn't do sh didn't do anything. Do you remember? Victorious. I, re I remember. Oh, we got a deck. Artifacts attack. I will claim my prize. Michael is a smelly boy. 
Aren't we all? Just you. Oh, got him. We're playing against Carter. Underscore Carter underscore. Oh, let's mulligan this hand. Oh, let's keep this hand. Oh, yeah. Stay. Stay. We've got to stay. Stay. We've got to stay just to make it to... That's Prey. You, you, know, you know that song? No. Do you really not? No. I can't tell. I never know how when I'm having a serious conversation with you. No, or, I, I don't actually know that song. Okay. It's just an MC Hammer song. You know MC Hammer? I know his other song. What's his other one called? Hammer Pants. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's called that. Might this as well is be. a nice. This is a nice combo. What'd you say? You said might as well be. It might as well be called Hammer Pants. So whenever you fail, that guy deals him damage. Yeah, and we gain okay. a life. That's Drains pretty, him for one. That's pretty cool, isn't that it? That guy's annoying. Whatever, man. He's just a three-one. I guess you're right. I had not considered that. Yeah. Maybe next time you will. God, maybe I will. You're right. Actually, maybe I bounce this guy. I'm going to bounce him anyway, because I don't want them gaining a million life next turn. So I might as well attack with the Whispering Snitch. And we get to Surveil again. Um, no, I don't care about that. Done. Trigger, all attack. Let's do it again. Gone. Oh, this guy. Look at this. Look at this dude. Well, that's rough. Hey, snow attacks. Am I right? Maybe we should have kept the land on top. I just don't want another island. Nick, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, put those quarters down. Reach for the skies, quarters. I feel like that's just, you're just doing, isn't that just McCree, McCray? No. Is it not? That's a, that's an old meme. Whatever, man. It's an Andy meme. Andy? Yeah. Toy Story meme. Oh, it is. He pulls a string. Reach for the skies. I like it. I'm a big fan of that movie. Reach for the pants hammers. <laughs> that's similar. Oh, they didn't play anything? All right. This guy. I think a red mana would be good here. I agree with you. That's a stupid flying death touch hexproof guy. This one is, yeah. Uh, that's no good. blocks. Actually, we could have blocked, but I don't think that's good. We're at 22. I don't know why he didn't attack with both. I guess because he's at 15. Yeah, because they take a million. What are you getting out of here? Unexplained disappearance? Okay. Oof. Well, I don't want to attack with this guy. And you have to double block. This guy seems fine to attack with. Slam him in the brain. Slam him in the brain. Slam, slam him in the brain. That's a song I wrote called Slam him in the brain. And technically only had to block with one guy, so... Well, yeah, but it's the good one. If they want to block with this one, I'm down to clown. <laughs> no blocks. When are you down in clown till? Till I'm dead in the ground. Nice. Brah. Family, family. What is that from? That's that's a ICP meme. They that's the thing they that the jugglers chant. Yikes. Family, family. More like famoli, am I right? Famoli. Exactly. Wish coin crab. Wisconsin crab. Why are they attacking with the blood operative? This is very strange. Oh, 
almost tempted to attack with this guy, throw it away. I think we're not gonna do it though. That's my opinion. Can I get a pass wall adept? Can a brother get a pass wall adept? Make this dude unblockable. It's your boy. No attackers, I guess. This dude's problematic. This is getting obnoxious. We might just board this in because they do have Nightfell Predator, so it's actually a reasonable... Oh, wow. There's a, a sizable amount of aggression happening here. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, Wish Coin Crab has never found true love. That's really sad. Oh, is it just this guy now? You ain't gonna block? I still don't need to. I still have a trigger that I can use here, which is nice. Why you would tap all the blue for that, I don't understand. Luckily, it's not relevant. You're not relevant. That's rude, man. I'm going to keep that because it lets us do things next turn. He just took it like a sucker. Took it? Oh, he didn't. Never mind. That was the trigger ability. Gotcha. You're a trigger ability. You're a trigger, Billy! Okay, that is fine. Mm. If they want to attack with this, we can block with our Batsy. Or our Froggy. Yep, that's kind of what we were hoping for. Do I want to kill this and tap something else down? Maybe. Mm, I think we can save it. Yeah, but I go to two if I don't. Which is pretty scary. That's true. We do have a sizable amount of creatures on the board, too. Tap crab. Kill the bat. Destroy the child. Sure. You got it. That's not gonna do it. Fix. So now we're just dead to this we guy. Huh? Alright. Well, we tried. We had a good run. <laughs> so 3 1 2 1 3 1. I think Mephotic Vapors can come in if we it's have. It's simple. That. We kill the bat, man. <laughs> Uh, so we don't have that, so we'll just play Cosmotronic Wave. That actually seems very good against them. Topological Warfare. Good on you. Me? Good on me? No, shut up. You're stupid. <laughs> no, shut up, you're stupid. Well, that's good. That was aggressive, but... You know Got what? him. We should kill the Batman. Well, Grumbles. Yeah. Grumble and rumble. Tapping the crab isn't the same as loving it. I guess that's true. <laughs> it's not a phase, Mom. Oh, keep this hand. Ooh, risky. Is it really? I think so. We have this guy oh, we can play. Guy. We have yeah, Discovery play. Dispersal to Scry. I don't think there's anything risky about this hand, Mitchell. Yeah, if we drew to Swamp, this game would have been over. If we had drew to Swamp. If we had Ruta Swamp Mon. Maybe play Three Mountains? No. I don't even I'm not even playing No. I don't I don't believe in hey, you. Mon. Bonk em and schmonk em. Do you think people can request other accent drafts? Uh I think they can. But uh, will they? I don't know if they will. Okay. I mean, it depends on if they think the quality was high enough, you know? The quality? The quality. I'm all about equality. Who isn't? My dad. That's messed up. I know, right? 
Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, do we just run both these guys in here? I feel like we're actually pretty aggressive. This is fine. Any land lets us play Whispering Snitch into Discovery, which is nice because then it triggers this guy, it triggers this guy. We're doing all kinds of triggers here. Alright, well. I think it's worth missing one trigger to hit a land drop. So. Oh. Can I can I cancel that? No. Okay. Well, I would have preferred to be able to uh, keep the black mana up, but. That is sad. Uh, I think I actually want both of these. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. Well, that's a good dude. What can we get back? Nothing good? We got Capture Sphere. I'm alright with it. Did you know we're not going to take it? No. Oh, did you just lick that box? Probably. Why, why didn't, are you licking that box? Why aren't you licking it is the better question. Yeah, maybe it's tasty. Mmm, tasty! Yeah, that's a good one. But, you know what? Whatever, take my connive concoct, you got it. It's real mature. Oh, look at that guy. I'm gonna get sizzling on that guy. Yikes. I'm sorry, what? What are you asking me to do? Why can't I select this guy? Oh, I'm selecting the card. Interesting. I mean, this this spy bug is going to do the do the deed here. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Read the large text. Oh, in the middle. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, nerds. I don't need your judgment, your nerd judgment. Oh. Oh, it's the Night Vale Predator. They used to call Mike the Night Vale Predator when he was on his, uh... When he was on his serial killing spree. I told you not to talk about that. Well, maybe you shouldn't have done it. Maybe you shouldn't have committed the crime if you couldn't do the time, Michael. I ain't done the time yet. Wow. He's right, though. He has not done the time yet. Uh, I don't care about this guy. Combat seize. Attack with just you. One attack. Damage. Did I play land? I'll play land. Look at those brats and bats. Brats oh, wanted to bats. do that. Oh, I didn't have, did I have enough mana for that? Oh. Cosmotronic wave! Kill your opponent because his creatures die. Yeah, this is a good song, but we're just going to do it next time. Got him. But you need glasses. I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, I see. I see. That's a little glasses meme. Oh, I do was in my... What does that mean, though? Did I have a card in my hand? Is that what's going on? Jumpstart cards you discard this. Oh, I didn't have any cards. I don't know. Whatever, man. God, like so many... Look at all these... Choco rain. Choco ring? Rain. Choco rain? Yeah, choco rain. Chocolate rain? Choco rain. 
I'm gonna bring this bats in because they don't have that many things to deal with it. It seems like I'm gonna take out the All Star, best card in your deck now. It it's not. Yeah. Maybe we want disdainful stroke. It's in my head now, dude. Oh, the Twitch stream correction unit. Yeah, the the TSCU. Sometimes a streamer makes a misplay. Sometimes the audience knows the correct answer, and they want to be the first to correct him. These are their stories. <laughs> bing bing. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> boom 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 boom. Not that we really need a mountain, but... I always need a mountain. Now I'm just gonna discard this radical idea. Joke's on you. I wasn't even gonna play that. How ratical of you. Thank you. What is this? What am I submitting? I did. I didn't want to cast this, you stupid idiot! Ah. Well... I'm really sad right now about everything that just happened there. That was yeah, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to discard idea. The, the radical idea. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. There's a level of anger that I'm experiencing right now. That's unparalleled by any man in existence, in human existence, in human history. Wow. Can I draw a capture sphere? The bold clay. Now they look. Now they get rid of that. Unbelievable. Everything has gone wrong. I used to be. I used to, used to, used to. I used to be in control of my life. Now it's all gone. It's all gone. Dawn Channel. This card's hard to deal with. I really want to capture Sphere. What does that guy I'll do again? That's also hard to deal with. Man, just mono. This guy? It's a 3 1 with lifelink. When it. Uh, whenever you surveil, you can get him back. It's pretty good. That's correct. It is pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, actually, that's very good. Bounce this dude. Discard a card. That was surprisingly good. I used to be chat lethal. Oh no, can we do anything with that? We can get back a leapfrog. That's not super exciting. I kind of just want to deadly visit this guy. They don't it, like, and then they have to block here if they want. Otherwise, we draw a card. Actually, we can. Nah, yeah, we gotta get rid of this guy. It's not ideal, but. If we can get a capture sphere, I think we're in good shape. I don't actually care about either of these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's exactly... Oh, my God. Getting rid of that guy was so huge. Unless they have another one. They didn't have anything. My pro wrestling identity used to be Chad Lethal. But now it's Strong Gravy. Hmm. Ooh, Strong Gravy is a good... That's a good wrestling name. I guess we'll play this. They'll devious cover up it. It is what it is. I'm not going to not play anything here, so... Yep. Shuffle your Night Veil Predator back. Hope you didn't draw it right now. Let's find out. Have a good day. All right, well, that's fine. I have three very good cards. If you get rid of this, I got this. If you get rid of this, I got this. Everybody wins, huh? Have a good day. Unfortunately, um, the Dowser of Lights is exiled due to devious cover-up, so I can't get it back with my kind of concoct. 
My wrestling name is Maka Big Big. I don't even know what that means. That sounds like a poop reference. Like, Mike was in the bathroom really, and he Maka Big Bigged. He was like, go look, I Maka Big Bigged. And I was like, wow, that's disgusting. But I'll check it out, because, really, if you're proud of it, then I'll share in that experience with you. Min oh, Midnight Reaper, keep on rolling. Let me... Mississippi Reaper, you keep on reaping on me. Keep on reaping on me. How many? Nope, didn't want to look at that one. Look at this one. One, two, three. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I get really, I get really worried about the clicking here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. There are five lands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven lands. Always seven lands. Oh, I was shooting for more of make a big big. Hmm. Are you going to make a big big? Is baby going to make a big big? Oh, I'm actually going to keep this because it's kind of the same. I'm also going to bounce this idiot now in case they do another counter spell. Nope. I'm just going to get rid of all these lands. So many lands are in the graveyard. I think two more lands just hit the graveyard and one just hit the hand. So it was at 10, so it should be at 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. So there are only four lands left in our deck. You don't say. Oh, I say all right. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. One, one less. All right. If this dealt two, man, we'd be in good shape, buddy. If only. I'm tempted to bounce this in the block here. That seems good, right? Yeah, maybe. Let's go to blocks. Whoop! Yikes. Well, that's no good. This guy's bigger now. Now I want a, ca a captured, capture sphere. Capture, capture, capture sphere. Well, that'll also do. Yep, keeping that. Big words on top. They say discard a non-land card. I will discard wave. Kill this guy. This guy is great with Night Vale Sprite, let me tell you. What a Bratazin bat. Look at all the things we're doing. How many cards do we have left in our deck, actually? 10? All right, that's fine. I think we've just turned the uh, the extreme corner here. The extreme corner. Extreme corner! It's yeah. gotta be 90 degrees. It's all, all corners, all extreme corners are 90 degrees. Really, you play that after you play this guy? What if you had a better, what if you drew a better card to play? Yep, that seems good. Probably gonna keep everything now. Just because we have like seven cards in our deck. Also just gonna play land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. One, two, three, four. We are two lands away from actually artful dodging. Oh, 
Keep that guy as well. And that's a 5-5 five five now. Yeah, that's a 5-5. Five five. So... I hope they don't see that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just want to kill the thing in response. Target snake two, snake four, done. Kill this dude. Watcher in the mist. I think we won this game. Uh, we did. Maybe. Yeah, it's not over yet. Oh, they get to get Blood Operative back? Do they pay three? Five, six, seven. That's aggressive. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Oh, we don't have enough to make everyone unblockable. I think we're still pretty good though. Like they only need three, and this guy's gonna be if we make both of these unblockable, this guy's a six six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we care about this guy. One, two, three. Go to two. So, I mean, we can deal three, four, five, six, seven. You go to five, so you have to kill this, but then we can kill you with nothing else, I guess. So, if you have a rule for this guy, it's very good for you. That's not it. Now, one card. Am I going to see your, your head explode? Yeah, we don't want to do it on... Uh... Who is this? Just this guy? Yeah, I'll go to... I'll go to 11. No blocks. He's like, maybe they block with pass while adept. No, I'm good. Do you think there's a competitive draft on Arena is too many rounds or is the fact that you can leave and come back? Oh, I don't think there's... What's the... I mean, like... I don't understand being too many rounds, though, because, like, you can either... Like, it, it doesn't prohibit you from doing anything else, right? Like, you can either drop from the draft if you don't think it's good. Um, You can... If you don't think it's good, though, you're probably going to lose before it's too many rounds anyway, right? So if your deck is bad, you're going to go 0-2 or... 2-2 two, two, or 1-2, right? So then it's basically a fine number of rounds. So the rounds aren't an issue there. If you're winning, um, I mean, I think you're, you're you're winning, right? So it's like a fine number of rounds. That was an amazing, it's an amazing hit there. Um, yeah, that was real good. That was very, very good, yes. I wish I had a big enough creature to block this guy now. Wow, that was such an amazing hit. I'm really... That changes everything. Probably just going to block here. They're in top deck mode, so... Actually, maybe we don't block. Maybe we just... Oh, because they just keep attacking with this guy is the problem. We're at 11. Oh. 
You stay back. Just not gonna mill anything when we have three cards left, so. Seven, three, four, five, six. This is also seven next turn, so they literally have to find something now. And they did not. Nice. Woo! That was close. I thought that Severed Strands was actually gonna... Like, getting rid of our 6-6 six, six and getting some life was pretty relevant. Yeah, there. that was real good. I was not okay with it. But then I was okay with it. Oh. Everybody wins. Oh. See, like, right now, if I win one more, I'm, I'm good to go, because then we've broken even on our draft, so... Three wins is really what you want. And we have, like, we have two losses, so... We can win this one or the next one. You have two losses? Um... No, you can get two losses. I don't have and any And you haven't lost yet. any yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this hand's great. We can turn two Night Veil Sprite into Thoughtbound Phantoms. If we draw uh, another land, we can actually play this. Actually, I guess we could draw two lands here if we really have to. <laughs> if we really have to. I don't even know if they're... No, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Ideally, we'll hit an island here. That would be great. Because then we can keep up Unexplained Disappearance and Thoughtbound Phantasm. Island off the top. Never blocking this guy. Definitely not worth it. I hope you pump it. They didn't pump it, so now they're going to play a Fire Urchin? Alright, that's not the best. Alright, that's not the card we wanted, but... Such is life. Don't want that. We actually want to hit creatures at this point. Or lands, rather. Got a pretty good blocker here, too. Well, this guy becomes a 3-1. But you can definitely block here pretty easily. Unless they have a trick. No, nope, that is not a trick. That is an unexplained disappearance target, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I would have actually liked to do that in my upkeep, but... So now we don't need a land drop. Urgh. Yeah, it does kind of stink. This guy's getting very hard to deal with, though. Um, yep, keep you there. Seems good. Four four is pretty good because now if like we can block here and if they have a trick, oh they actually I don't think they're gonna do anything this turn. Uh, that guy's actually pretty good here. I mean, I'd like to hit a fifth land, but... I mean, we can just pull that guy and, and lead Guild Mage next turn, which is pretty good, and we can gain a life every single turn, so... That seems pretty good here. This guy being a 6-6 six, six is also, you know, not terrible. No, certainly not. Well, I like how they reveal it in his hand for you there. Yeah, it's super convenient so that you don't have to remember what they have. That's a good one. <sighs> now I just want to swamp on the top <laughs> instead of a whispering snitch. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's certainly unfortunate. Nope, please don't use the red mana. Use these two. I guess the red mana would be fine, right? I don't know. Just going all in, huh? Well, I mean... Didn't she fly? Didn't she fly? Yeah. So it seems like a bad attack, right? But I have to, like, I, I can't do anything. Like, I need to make sure I hit a black source on the top. A 
Okay, well, that's good. So we trade this, but, I mean... I think this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. They're going to get a pretty good attack in here. They have double mentor, but... Like, I don't think any of these guys are going to get through this, so... And then we can deadly visit next turn, which also triggers both of these guys. I actually think we're pretty okay here. Alright, well, now they have a floaty boy. So they attack us for 7? Yikes. Actually, then we can hypothesis all the Sky Knight Legionnaire, so. Literal. No hesitation. Um, I'll keep you and get rid of the Frogums. You gotta chump block with something here. You don't have to, but if they don't... Ooh. I mean, it doesn't seem like a winning strategy. They also, we only have one card in hand other than this guy, and our, our hand is gonna be a hypothesis of unexplained disappearance, which is pretty good. Yep. That's good deal. Pretty sure I just wanna kill this guy. Actually, we're at 11. Maybe not. Maybe we just attack here. Yeah, you could also just, like, bounce the unicorn before he attacks. You could also kill the unicorn, too, and then bounce this guy because he'll be weaker when he comes down. You've been distracted. Have you noticed any difference between Arena's players and MSGO players? No, not not yet. But I mean, I don't know if 8, 9, 10. They're also playing in the competitive league, so. Oof. Going to 5. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is actually lethal, but if we unexplained and bounce like the 4, four power guy... Then we're also going to gain one and prevent four, so we'd be at s five. It's not bad. What did you say? You also, what, competitive something? We're in the competitive league, so in theory new players aren't going to be playing in this draft. Okay, that's actually... I think we just won the game. Because they're going to alpha. We're going to bounce this guy. We're going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to gain one. <laughs> Jeez, well. Yeah, it's fine. Yep, go to four. And you should be dead. We have a 9-8. Oh, interesting. Got him. Also, we have uh, Cosmotronic Waves probably coming in. They have two 1-1s. One God, it really is. Beast. Yeah.
yeah, mage could have double bounce, but like, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Like, we're winning that that situation. Like, there's no one mana card in this in the format that isn't a one mana creature or a take heart. So, I mean, Talker, because I like the same old stroke, but at the same time, I really don't. Because outside of really, like, what are you countering with that? Especially in the Boros deck, yeah. But it really is. Gosh, she's a she's a beater. She is a beater. I kind of like Dazzling Lights. It's not great, but... I probably just want Cosmotronic Wave, actually. I mean, it kills their Bannerets. They probably have other X1s. Maybe. <sighs> I can see cutting Devious Cover up. It's a lot of mana for a counter spell. Yeah, but it counters Aurelia, and that's relevant. Yeah, but you have to have four mana up. Yeah, but that's how much she costs, so... I'm going to take this guy out. I'll bring the wave in. I mean, we can just hope they don't draw Aurelia, too. I'm about to bust. It's <laughs> a good one. Six Reese's, five Kit Kat, one Twix Plane, two Plain m M&M, one Peanut m M&M, three Snickers, three Hershey's and Almonds, and two Milky Way. That's a lot. Uh, I wish we had more lands here. God, any land, though, in this hand is very good, and we're also on the draw. Like, we get to play this on turn two, followed up with this guy, and then Discovery or Unexplained. I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's a risk. But even if we don't hit a land for a turn, we still have a Thoughtbound Phantasm to play. And we could just draw an untapped land. That's fine. Well, biscuits. Um, small well, biscuits indeed. So they're gonna pump this guy right, and then they're gonna attack with both to make this a three-three. Then we can just easily bounce this, which I think is probably what we want to do because we want to hit a land here. And I, I could see also trading here. I don't know. This card gets big very fast though, so. I hope they tap out first, that'd be great. But then I imagine they're not swinging with this. Deal. So we're gonna bounce this and block. Yeah, that seems fine. Unless they just pump this, but I can't imagine that's the case. Well, come on, buddy. Like, they either deal four or they guarantee deal three, and then they can either trade here. Like, this being a 3-3 three, three forever seems significantly better. Well, hopefully they get greedy. Well, I can't bounce once they target, depending on what they do, right? Like, if they target this guy... is good because we can play both of these and then we can follow it up with this guy well, that's a good one that was, that was what we wanted I mean their next turn is pretty strong because they get to play this guy and attack with everything but that's most of their mana and we actually aren't that far behind I would also gladly trade with this guy. I 
Oh, fascinating. I'll sure strike it. Sure. Strike. See what I did there? No, please explain. I can't. It's inexplainable. We're probably gonna, not blocking. Yeah, we're not so. blocking, right? Wow. That's really good. Just four of the and ten. Yep. That's pretty good. Pretty sure we're dead here. I wish this was an instant, but I don't know. Maybe that's too good? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So we have to block at least three of these dudes. Uh, block you. Block you and block you, I guess. Yep, don't see how we're winning this game. That's not gonna do yeah. it. Alright, next game. Cosmotronic Wave, not as good as I thought it would be, unfortunately. So we're gonna take that out and bring in something like... Di I think Disdainful Strike's actually fine now that we saw Call of the Culprit as well. Or we could just bring another Leapfrog or a Mesmerist, actually. I actually like Disdainful Stroke here. We have, like, the horse... We have the guy that gives plus two, plus oh, or whatever. Aurelia. Any other cheap creatures? Not really. Alright, that seems good. I like this fighting game stream out here. Fight! Uh, keep this hand. Turn to Night Veil. Straw Bug Boy. That would be nice. I would also accept a uh, Thoughtbound Phantasm. I like Sure Strike too, but I'm not going to play when I only have three red sources, is the thing. I'll keep that guy. So next time we just play this guy. You got it. If you want it, you can get it for the rest of your life. And they can attack with both, and then I'll just trade here, which would be fine because it's a 3 2. And if we play Dowser next turn, if they want to spend their turn collaring this guy, that's fine too. The longer I watch, the more fun this format seems. Interesting. Oh, now they get to attack with Bodyguard and Scarlet Legionnaire? Sure, that's better. 
Okay. Well, they don't have any. I guess we get a free block here, so that's fine. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so frustrating, but ultimately fine, I guess. I'd rather just get the douser out. Um, I will keep that, actually. That seems good. We can play that and is a guild gate next turn. And it bounces either one of these guys because they're both three mana creatures, so. Oh, now we just bounce that guy instead. Attack for three. Okay. Just doesn't do anything. It's better than a land. I think we probably should have attacked with this guy too. Or we could also attack with this guy. From the barging sergeant. Oh, just another Sky Knight Legionnaire. Yep, this is hard to deal with for us, unfortunately. Yeah, those guys are good. <clears throat> yeah, Leapfrog seems terrible here, and I'm pretty sure we're dead because we're going to take five, and then we're going to take five again. Yeah, we're actually dead. Like, we can block here, but. Doesn't really do anything for us. Yep, that's game. We just can't deal with their flyers. I mean, maybe the bats should have come in instead of Leapfrog. Oh, a Brawl Bash Ogre. That's a card that people are going to put in their constructed decks on MTG Arena. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad they give us so many good rewards. Same. Like, why do that? I don't make any sense. I don't know either. I feel like that's something that they do on Magic Online, and you're just like, no one's playing with this card. I get that you think, like, all of these cards are... Like, cards are made for different people, right? Like, so the casual cards, people love those at the kitchen table and stuff, but, like... But, like, an arena where you can't actually, like, there's no secondary market, like, you need access to better cards. Like, give, give you something that's actually worth playing. Like, I'm just, no one's going to put that in their deck. Because there's no formats for it. Like, there's not even, like, a... Even, like, a pauper format. Like, it's an uncommon. Like, no one's going to have an ogre theme deck on here or something. Like, there's no real situation for that guy. Um, I'll awkwardly keep this hand. That was a nice one. That's a nice one. Also a nice one. Get him. Do the deed. I'm like super hungry right now. Me too. Yeah, there's a commitment here. Oh, I'm gonna bounce that dude. Are you ready? Um, that actually seems good because we have Piston Fist Cyclops in hand. We can also go uh, Dark Blade Agent into Radical Idea, which is nice. Oh look, another Bodyguard. Who saw that coming?
could also just give him uh, unblockable. Oh, we're just going to pull a Leapy Boy now. What's going on? I just want to attack. We don't give one mana. Trade? Trade these? see. I still got to eat this guy, so it's actually a two-for-one here. That's actually not bad. If they choose to block. Trading a Mesmerist and a Dazzling Lights for this guy is pretty good. Alright. Order your damage. That guy will be first. So now they can't attack anymore, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Happy Mike Arnold! Happy Halloween, buddy. Happy Spoopin' Doop. How does this deck deal with Hexproof? How does our draft deck deal with Hexproof? I don't know. <laughs> also, what's Hexproof? Hets, what? What's hats proof? What on board ha has proof? What on board has that? What on board ha has proof? Those candy corn emotes? Yes. Well, they're Illuminati candy corn emotes, clearly. Illuminati -ish. Yes. They are the candy cornati. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Uh, I don't really care about saving it. I'm already two for one. I'd rather just play a leapfrog and have a more consistent three damage on board, especially when we have unblockable on the board, so we can actually deal uh, five here. And then, like, they're almost dead. I'm gonna just make two guys unblockable this turn. But it doesn't increase our clock any, right? It's still a three turn clock, so I think we're gonna Notion Rain here. Why don't you tap the red instead? I'll definitely keep Capture Sphere. I'll put this in the graveyard. Actually, no. I'll keep both. So we know they have Maximize Altitude. That's interesting. I didn't see them discard that, but... Oh, they might have actually surveilled it into the graveyard? Yeah, it looks like that. Hey, Frog Boy floats, right? Yeah, now he does, but so does this guy, so. Oh, true. Um, I don't know if I mind trading with either of these guys, so. I'm okay with it. Oh, and actually it has Death Touch. You'd have to actually block with both, which is pretty insane. Yeah, that was that was just fine. That's a good burb vine. I don't even Oh, is that like a is that like a Venge vine but with burbs? That's a burb. What's a burb? Uh-huh. Don't leave me hanging, man. Oh, did you want a, you want a little mister? Yeah, let me get it. You were too far back. Oh. Oh. All right. Here we go. Something's happening. Cosmotronic wave. Give him a burb bath. Gravitic punch. All right. 13. I take six. Can you even attack? You have to attack with both or nothing, so I don't think you can even attack here. It's 
So I can play Radical Idea, give the Dark Blade Agent unblockable. Timed out user. Oh, bounce your own Sphinkums. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's lethal. <laughs> nope, just use the blues here. It got him! You can leave. Actually, we should have left it on top, just they didn't see it. Small misplays. Peace! That's, uh, that's how you do it. I don't know why I did that peace thing, but it happened. That's where we're at. So they had the 1-1, one, one, they had the 3-1. Wave might be good here? Who knows? I don't know. It's never... I can never tell. It's like good early game, bad late game. I think it's good both, though, because, like, you just make their guys unblockable next. You're making your guys unblockable. I'll play wave and I'll take out the devious cover-up. This should have bounced all your humans. I only had... Two, oh, I did have two humans. Yeah, that's a... That would have been better. I don't know why they bounced their guy when they were under so much pressure. They're at six and they're going to bounce their own guy. Seems pretty aggressive. Um, I'll keep this hand. Any black source and we are quite okay. <coughs> All right, waves looking good. Hmm, does that do anything? Yes, Whispery Sage. Sweet. Is it as good as Mike's mom, though? Hmm. It's hit or miss. Wow, really? That's aggressive. Perfect. Nope, let's not do that. Let's play this guy. Next turn we can go Snitchums and keep up Disappearance, or we can uh, just wave depending on what they do. Hopefully they'll play Leapfrog and then I feel real good about wave and attack for four. Well, Biscuits. Now I'm pretty sure we're just gonna bounce this guy. I will keep that on the top. Faux show. I like it because it's just... I mean, the thing I do like about Arena is that it kind of streamlines things so that I'm not clicking a million times. Like, it just goes to combat. I click the guy I want to attack with. It just... It's not nagging me with every single possibility. Also, now we can wave and attack for five because they have no other creatures. I think they're dead. They're not dead anymore. Land? Oh boy. Now they're dead. Faux show dead. Uh, <laughs> sure. Keep both four mana removal spells. MTG has a better representation of Paper Magic, but Arena is a superior video game experience, in my opinion. That sounds good. I can agree with both of that. They're just dead, right? Uh, well, if they have an answer, like they have a bounce spell, they're not. One, two, three. Plus, we do have to play something first to trigger this guy, so. No, you just did. Oh, well, I know. Um... Yeah, both of these are fine. We want the island so we can play uh, another threat. I don't think there's any flash creatures, so they're probably just going to unexplain disappearance this guy. Yeah, 
I guess I'll just deal with that whisper guy because that's just gonna kill him too. Yeah, two two surveils here, and uh, he did. We're doing it. Going for a little uh, little bit of DC action? No, I was just curious actually who that was because I couldn't tell from this. Yep, that's the end. All right, well, we broke even on this draft at the very least. Did we lose? Have we lost yet? Yes. Your sub goal graphics, you're talking about the overlay extension? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. The overlay extension? What does that mean? Uh, there's like a, the overlay, the thing that's like making you, you can hover over the cards and stuff. Whatever. Listen, I can't see your hand cards. Um, I mean... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I, thought, I wasn't sure if you were in sassy or not. It sounded like you were being sassy, so I was like, hey buddy, listen. Take it easy. Oh, I can see that they probably can't... Oh, no, I mean, like, you can see the hand, but, like, they probably can't zoom in because it would be under this, maybe? I don't know. Let me find out. Uh, let's play... I want to play Is It Guildgate because we have black and blue sources, so if we draw, like, League Guild Mage, I want to be able to play it. Alright, we're going to full screen this guy. Comes up for me. It comes up in front for me, so I don't know if it's maybe just my experience, but when I go in the hand, it's it's working for me. Yeah, it's working for me. It's just a little. It's just it's sitting in the front. Um, do I want to play radical? No, I don't actually have to play radical ideas here. I'd rather play leapfrog or dark play agent and then trigger them. Trigger this guy with this anyway. Let's play this guy. You get it? His name is F6. That's actually pretty clever. I'm a fan of that. Sad. Eh, it's just a trade. It's not that big a deal. You're not that big of a deal. Wow. Got him! Did they put Dowser in the graveyard? Interesting. I would never do that. I'll just play my Dowser next turn. Well, it's actually fine. These are all just trades. Hope we don't have another one, I guess. This guy dodges a lot. Like, he dodges Artful Dodge. He dodges uh, Severed Strands right now with no other creature for them. If they have a second Plague Crafter, it's good. A Trotta. That also... That's gotta go. I don't have a way to get it. I don't have a way to make it go, though. Hmm. That was unfortunate. I agree. Well, I'm definitely keeping this. And we do have two black sources. You can probably get rid of this one. Yeah, agreed. So it doesn't count less if they're legendary. I thought Digitally Visit did that. What am I thinking of? The card that costs less if they're legendary? Price of Fame. Okay. Uh, we'll just play Snitch here. Does she have Death Touch? No, but she can't be blocked. So she gets axed. They exile this. They shuffle this back in. So why don't you tackle the 4-5? Because it's 3-5. Just blocks it. <laughs> That's just basic combat, buddy. Oh, they preyed upon. Look at that. Bust bay dice. See you later, buddy. You had a good run. I'll play your brother next. We'll avenge you. Do not like that three-one card. Same. I think you're actually making like your deck work. That's what I feel like. Like they just hit three. Relevant cards, I guess. So I have three cards in hand. We have three cards in hand. We have a better creature on board. 
Now they have two cards in hand. We have three cards in hand. So. I'll try to add a, as a card is pretty amazing. I'm a big fan. Eight? Eight six, huh? Okay, well, not blocking that. Ouch. Ouch, am I? <laughs> that's Jesus. Uh, you know what that's from. You could hop a fizzle. That's what six four. Oh, that's what I'm doing, buddy. Discard a non land card. Let's get rid of radical ideals. Radical! Um, let's put Swamp for the Adept. Might as well start getting in there. Alright, you got one card. Seems good. We're probably just going to win now. There's no way this is a good card, right? It's probably. Yeah, I don't think we want to go to four. Yeah, I'm not going to four here. I have a deadly visit for whatever you play next. Like, yeah, that's actually fine. You get back something, I'll kill it. If it bleeds, I could, we could kill it. That's from Predator, in case you guys didn't know. Predator. Um, none of these are good, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't take either of those. Alright, here we go. Let's see if this Dowser of Lights can win the game. Oh, interesting. So... Oh, that's actually great. Well, I'll be. Two more turns. Well, yeah. Boy, this Dowser of Lights is just killing Dowsing him. his lights, huh? Is he dousing his own lights? No, her lights. Huh. That's actually fine. Oh, they have nothing. Alright, you're at four and I have two four power creatures. Seems good. Let's go to game two. Sounds good. Man, this draft is taking forever. I just want to go eat food and watch the rest of Making a Murderer before I have to get ready to go to BlizzCon tomorrow. I feel like Disdainful Strike is probably great in this matchup. They have reasonably expensive things. Six drops, five drops, six drops. Do I need this? You get like 10 minutes. Yeah. I don't know. BlazeCon 420. Four low swag. 420 BlazeCon. Sandwiches out there getting juicy. Is it getting juicy? Yeah. Hope not too juicy. I hope it's so juicy. I only got a little bit of oil. There's a small. You can go get it and bring it. Just bring it and eat it in here. I'm not gonna do that. All right. It's weird. You'll probably get stuff all over your desk. Yeah, you probably would actually. I I get stuff all over my desk when I eat subs in here. So you can only imagine. I can only imagine. Uh, keep. This hand seems great. I got my sodi pop in the fridge. 
My sodi pop in the fridge. And got better. All right, man, we get it. You got your sodi pop. My sodi pop in the fridge. Sodi pop in the. I'm actually gonna go get my sodi pop. Out of the fridge. Give me a Mountain Dew too. Sure. Preach. A diet mizzle. A mizzle dizzle. Okay, our hand just got significantly stronger. Yep, that is fine. Resolve you. I'm pretty sure I just want to... I, I, I think I actually just want to unexplained disappearance this guy. I think leave Guild Mage could take over this game if we're... If we're careful about it. Okay, I did not want you to be able to block. So that's sad. Do I want this? This is a fourth land. Next turn, what are we doing? We're playing Leapfrog. Yeah, this is fine. I can keep that. Well, that's sad. We could have dealt two extra damage there. I don't actually know how that worked. I guess I let them block. This is during the main phase, so if they needed to land, yeah, I didn't think they were like, it's not going to hit it. Uh, let's go no attacks. Oh, that's good. Oh, but that's dead, so... Cyclops and Passwall Adept. Um, what's our plan next turn? We have Notion Rain, so we can actually Notion Rain into Adept, which is pretty good. Um, we have all the lands we need. Yeah, Adept and yeah, that seems fine. I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any issues with those particular creatures. So, plus Notion Rain lets us trigger Leapfrog again, which is nice. And uh, getting a Piston Fist Cyclops on board with a pass wall lineup is... It's decent. How's the Serena Giraffe going? I think we're 3-1 right now. So... Reasonable. Thanks, brah. Three two, huh? Eh, no blocks is fine. How you doing over there? This is my cherry coke, mixed with a little bit of fruit punch. Um, do we want to hit a land here? Yeah, actually, we're gonna take both, and we're gonna play Cyclops here, which is great. Let's go to the combat. Get it. Get them. Get them done. Get them's McDunham's. The dew is invisible. That's how that works. It's like you're drinking space-time continuum. Buddy, I, I was drinking the space-time continuum when you were a twinkle in your daddy's eye. Got him. Huh. Huh. Uh, I'm still not caring about this guy, so I'll go to 12. Notion rain... Mike stays dry while some guys feel the pain. <laughs> you triggered by that? No, I just wanted to make a big thing about it. I think I did a good job. Undercity Necrolisk. Do we just capture sphere this guy and attack with everybody? I guess we can't. We can only attack with this guy. We could steal this guy and then attack with everybody. I'm um, not that guy. Hmm. Seems okay. What do we have in the graveyard? No dudes? Alright. Alright. I do like stealing this guy, though. Or ca I guess we can't steal it. Damn it. <laughs> I guess we like capture steering it. Hmm. We don't have any great attacks here, unfortunately. We could steal this guy. And then... And then attack, attack. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think it's great. But it, it triggers all the things, so...
And if they want to trade here and here, that's fine. Because they have very little on the board now. And our hand is still very good. So, what happened to the British chaps that were here earlier? Uh, I saw them earlier and then they just kind of took off. I don't know. It was very strange. It was a whole thing. Should I use my wild card to craft right now? Or should I? Oh, I see what you're saying. That's not a question for me. That is a question for the internet. You're going to give this new menace? Is it plus X plus O? Yeah, that's fine. So six. I'm probably not taking six. Six is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, we can deal you eight, though. Yeah, I don't care about that. Boom! Oh, that's, that's all we wanted. Yeah, that's good. Yep, you are at three, and we have a bounce spell in hand. So I'm pretty sure Seems you're Seems decent. Uh, it's pronounced Dees. Int. Int? Mm-hmm. Int what? Excuse me. But I do 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 do. It's nice that people can't yell at you uh, when you beat them. You got it. Who are they gonna? How are they gonna yell at you? That's what I mean. They can't. There's no chat, right? Well, you can always ignore that. I don't understand how this isn't how, how you're not dead here. Oh, they're all they good. gave you the good game. They did give me the good game. I'll give it back. I wish they spoke. I wish Karn was like, good game, in like a Karn voice. Because then you get the personality of the characters instead of just like... One good game deserves another. Alright, I think we got one more match. Win or lose. Do they have established voices in the universe? No, but they could. Like, this is a great way to do that. That's right. Rare. I'll take it. Alright, let's, let's win or lose this one and then get the hell out of here so I can eat some tacos. Also, you gotta give me a ride to the airport tomorrow. Got him. What time? I'll uh, leave here at 5.30. A.M.? Yeah. Okay. So you could just go to sleep after that. Yeah. yeah. Go to bed at 6.30 and wake up at 3.30. You're good to go. 3, I guess. Not 3.30. That's cutting it real close. That's cutting it a little too close. Oh, 11 searches. How nice. Oh, no. That's interesting. So your flight is at 5.30 you want to leave My by flight, five? we want to leave by 5.30. Okay. My flight is at 7.15. I will keep this hand because we can go Demir Spy Bug into a 3-drop if we get it. Uh, that's great. So, Dark Light Agent into Notion Rain. Make sure we hit a land drop. This is pretty good. Oh, wow. They didn't play anything. Want to take your car again for AC? Yeah, or yeah, we yeah. take mine? Yeah, you can take mine. It also right. saves you gas. So. Yep, that's what I was afraid you'd have, but... What can you do? I don't like that it says end on your turn, but it says end combat on their turn. Like, it's too... Oh, because it's different things. I keep forgetting. What day do you get back? Uh, Monday night. I think I just want the leapfrog here. Monday night, huh? Yeah, why? It means it probably can't get you. I know. I'm trying to figure out how to get home. I'll figure it out. Unless it's real late at night. I think they finally hit their green. Oh, it's like 11.50, but it's not like... So close. It is actually pretty close. I mean, realistically, if you don't mind waiting, I can come get you after. I was thinking that. Then we can have the rights to Delhi. Unfortunately, we cannot. That's... Fair point. Fair point. Sarah talk. Um... 
Then again, you'd have to wait till like 1 a.m. That's about the time I'd probably get there. Uh, is this one keep? No. Oh, another frog? Call a bubber, which is a bobber uber. Hmm. A boober? I mean, I definitely could, but I'm, you know, it's 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 more ideal for me to save thirty bucks. So, is that really how much it would be? From Tampa to here, probably. It's probably like sixteen. Well, no, it could be like sixteen. I don't know. It's probably closer like that. I think it's not like a taxi. I think they're significantly cheaper. You're not like a taxi. You're right. I'm not like a taxi. You could be though, if you try. Man, taxi man. He was a taxi man. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'll please draw land. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Well, the only thing we can do is this. Or we can just play frog, keep the pressure up. No, that's not good. We can play this. Um, I'm going to keep both of these. Both of them. Uh, this actually seems like a fine trade. Getting this guy off the board is just fine. Brought home the bacon. Michael B. He was a Michael B. I have a feeling my prone's got like March of the Multitudes in their deck or something. It's just going to be unreasonably difficult to deal with. Pull the counter on this guy, please, so I can justify my deadly visit. Your grandma's coming over for a deadly visit? Oh boy, this is just getting better and better. Let's see if we can find a red source. Oh, actually, I'm just keeping both. I'll ship you. This frog is getting the getting the work done. He's a hoppy boy. That is a hoppy boy. I just want to say, Boober, geez, cut me some slick. Some slick? Cut, cut that dude some sluck. Okay, that's not going to do it. Brought home the bacon. Yeah, I have my alarm set for five, I believe. Yeah, it's rough. Um, is this my turn? Yes. Okay, so we drew this. What do we have in here that we can get back? Nothing great. We could just capture sphere this guy. Still get in there for three, put them to four. Mangaloid, he was a mangaloid. Mangaloid? Mm-hmm. Interesting. They have one card. I think Dowser is probably the safest here. Or we can actually play Leapfrog. Radical Ideas, attack 4, 5, 6, 9, 9, 10. I think we play Leapfrog, Radical Ideas, put them to, to 4. Let's get rid of Hypothesis, because we don't actually have a card to play with it. Or Red Mana, for that matter. Perfect. Now they're dead on board to uh, con connive concoct because we can six them. So they gotta have answers here. They could prey upon here. They have one card. All right. Better be a good one. And even if they have plus two plus two for everybody, it's only sixteen. I would just take it because it's their last card. Uh, no blocks. Go to eight. And you're dead. Uh, let's put, doesn't matter, put you and you in there, done, get back Dark Blade Agent, I guess. Woo, biscuits! You doing okay? 
Ideally, one more game. I like I like Disdainful Stroke here. They got a bunch of expensive nonsense. I'll take the cover up out. Bring in Disdainful Stroke. Wait, didn't you have one more win to go up to this? No, this is our fifth round. You can only get five total matches, five total wins. We have four wins right now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're almost done. I can uh, taste okay. them tacos now. That's an interesting. That's interesting. That's an interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting. That's interesting. I just wanted to say bo Boober. Oh, we already went over that. Okay, well, we're doing good. Ugh. Putting quiet in the chat. It is. It's like everyone left. But they didn't. It's our view count. Up here. Hmm. Hmm. Probably went to Gee Candy. Gee Candy? They went to Gee Candy. <laughs> Oh, uh, some fighting game, Bookworm, Silverman versus Bookworm. Yeah, that's... that's bookworm, Silverman versus Bookworm, Silverman. <laughs> Those are good fighting game names. We've been streaming for seven hours, boy. Yeah. About to be. Yeah, you're right. Jeez Louise. Is he your squeeze. brother, cousin, relative, friend? Friend. At least he laid out some options for you. That was nice. Yeah, that's nice. At least they weren't like, is this your son? I like that you didn't say son. That's good. I'm glad you didn't default to that. Oh, God. Oh, oh that would have been bad. Let's move, Kevin. There you go. All right. It's all the candy putting me in a sugar coma. They are brothers from another mother. So not brothers at all. I had an opportunity to go get some candy. I declined it. He's saying he would went, went neighborhood around the neighborhood to trick or treat. I said, Michael, that'd be weird because you're a grown ass man, and he was like, "Fuck I you, don't I want candy." Wow, <laughs> that was aggressive. Butter gum and ta butter butter butterscotch and taffy. Is that what he goes? I want candy, want candy, butterscotch and taffy. F you, I want my candy. What was that MC Chris? No, it was more of a F you, I don't want to do what they tell me, but I want the candy instead. Bubblegum and taffy, that's what it is. I want candy, bubblegum and taffy. Skip to my sweet shop with my sweet Aunt Sandy. Uh, I thought you were the sweet man going to the corner store. I thought that's what was happening. <laughs> that's a different time. Oh, it was a different time then. I hope they don't play anything. I just hope they don't. I just hope they have nothing. I have to have five lands in there. Is hand. he your muse? Wow. Where did you see that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, secret herbs and spices. I'll probably trade here. This frog doesn't seem like it's going to go the distance this game. You know how you know how to be the lamest person on Halloween? I don't know. You just have to exist to do that. Oh, wow. got him! <laughs> no, I was going to say, uh, give out... Give it out. doesn't matter what you oh were going to say! Oh, my God. No, see, so you give out toothbrushes, and you don't give out candy. Okay, see, that's funny, because if I got a toothbrush for Halloween, I would be like, sick, these are expensive. That's I, fair. I guess it depends on what kind of toothbrush, because my toothbrush is like two, two for seven dollars, and I'm just like... My life was a lot easier when I didn't have to just buy toothbrushes, but... I mean, you don't have to buy that many toothbrushes. Maybe you don't. Gross are Tooth you, McGee. Are you, like, getting through them real quick? No, you should change your toothbrush, like, every three months, man. Is that a thing? What if I told you I haven't changed my toothbrush since we moved in? I wouldn't be surprised, because I think I've seen your toothbrush. How often should you change your toothbrush? I keep it in a little thing, man. Oh, yeah, if you keep it in a thing, then I wash it, it. I, I wipe it off. Every stuff. three to four months. Huh. Yeah. You, you need to get your life together. This is not okay, man. I'm sorry. We, I'm going to have to move out. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, this guy's problematic. What's my favorite candy? Bubblegum and taffy. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Probably, I really like almond joys. 
Almond Big Joys challenge. have nuts. Mounds don't. I know that. They're also dark chocolates. So I know that. <laughs> it's okay, take it easy. Take it easy. I take it easy. Mike, when did you last change your sheets? That's a good question. Uh, about a month ago. You, okay, so you washed them about a month ago? Yeah, I wash them about once a month. You should wash them three times a month. Who has time for that? That's not true. You shouldn't do that. That's that's excessive. I feel like now... Uh, remember that time I was like, we're in a good shape? I don't think we're in good shape anymore. I think we're going to two-for-one ourselves here. Yes, we have one other housemate. He's favorite good. episode also of Steve's mic. Favorite episode of Aquin Tongue Force? It's the uh, the jazz soda episode. The jazz soda episode. I don't think I've seen that one. Jazz cola. That one's amazing. That's that's like the that episode had a a, a profound impact on me. Give me more about that episode. I'll give you nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> I thought we could actually bounce here. I think we're dead. Yeah, I think we're dead. What's your favorite Star Wars character? I think it's Steven Universe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think we're dead here. Actually, his name is Scroberfett, so get, get it right. We play this, we go double block. I'm just going to go to the next game. The faster we can end all this misery. Do you guys eat breakfast and dinner? No, I don't think... We... Me and Mike share meals together if he's home. Um, Because we'll just go watch shows and stuff. But uh, ordinarily... We don't really share a meal. We just both have meals. We're eating at, at the, the same, same time. time yeah. We're not like, I'm cooking dinner tonight. What would you guys like for dinner? Yeah, I ain't nothing like but that. But hey, if you ever want to do that, I'm, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, we can, ha we can have family meals. That ain't... That ain't a big deal. I think our deck is good. I used to live in a student flat with three guys who was absolutely lit, but now married, which is also lit in a different way. That's two. Those are, yeah, those are just two different types of lit. So no lady in the shrimp <laughs> spaghetti moments. No, we try to avoid that. Blood Feast Island Man? Is that from, from C-Lab? C-Lab 2021 news As a streamer, show. do you subscribe to your own stream, or is that vain? Uh, it's not only vain, it's a actual... A net loss. It's a net loss because subscriptions are subscriptions. Them subscriptions are five dollars, and I only net two fifty per subscription. So, uh, yeah, I think this is keepable, but it's real iffy because you don't have black. We got a two drop. We got an unexplained disappearance. If we can hit a swamp off the top, good lord, we can't lose. You understand? Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Did I name a C Lab episode when I when someone asked me Aqua Teen Hunger Force? I think you might have. Holy smokes! I meant C Lab, because I always because thought I don't that remember was Jazz Cola, and I've seen like no, that was no, that was definitely a C Lab episode. Yeah, I I did watch C Lab, but not like not like a really. I like C Lab better than Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's fair. It's also a really good show. I'm just, I just I know. Screw that. I think you're wrong, but you know, whatever. God dang it! If you're looking for me, you can look under the sea. That is where you'll find me. I was actually just talking to a coworker about C Lab the other day. Oh, were you? Yeah. How convenient. <laughs> what? You know what I you know what's up. Oh, this is gonna be a blow up. I think my favorite episode of Aquatine Hunger Force. It's the one where they have the devil sandwich. I was born in a devil sandwich. In, uh, what does that mean? Think about it. The brood witch. Why, why, why didn't you eat the tomatoes? I don't like them. But you can't just take off the tomatoes. It's part of the experience. That's probably true. Nah, I didn't like them. Boy, a swamp would be really good here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Did you get the deck list I sent you? Did I? Yeah. Oh, I played it yesterday. Favorite Aqua Teen character. It's his dad. It's my dad. Uh, no attacks. That would be suicide. 
What episode do you guys think of the hand, the what do you guys think of the hand banana episode? I don't even know what that is. Oh god. Oh, not that episode. Is this an Aqu- <laughs> oh, geez. Is this a Hunger Force thing? Yeah, it's an Aqua Hunger Force episode. Oh god. Hand bananas yeah, episode's pretty good. It's kinda creepy though. Well, so are you though, so that's okay. So there's this character named the hand banana, and he's a hand made out of bananas. And then he That's weird kind of forces his way onto somebody and it's real weird <laughs> on the carl uh i will not be doing another draft i've been live for about seven hours now over seven hours so i am likely going to get some food and eat it and uh feel better about my life choices i really want to hit a land here i hate wasting all my un unexplained disappearances but i need a swamp real bad not you Ooh, the foreigner belt that's a good one Nope, not you either. All right, so we 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 dealt at one point, so we're probably not going to lose now. Fill my eyes with that double vision. How does not? Are you scared of Aqua's Younger Force? That doesn't make any sense. Why are you scared of it? Had to kill that thing just because it's. We can't not sit there and do nothing. All right, well, we're getting more lands, but not good ones. Island is not what we want to hit here. I feel like we could probably win this game pretty easily if we just... Have you seen the DBZ ATHF meme? They replaced Nappa with Carl. Okay, that's pretty ridiculous. Look that up. I, don't, I need to see that. Somebody posted in the chat. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Let's go to images. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. <laughs> oh, this is uh oh look here's another Oh one. every every single character is Carl. Wow. So it's their turn. Attack and combat. My turn. Swamp swamp swamp. It's just a capture sphere. I guess that's a thing though. Boy, if this Demir Spybug was in play, unbelievable. Do I need to watch this show? Probably not. I think it's pretty funny. I don't know if you need to watch it, though. It's not like... I feel like the weirdness was too high on Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Really? Mm. Yeah, because, like... That's what I liked about it, though. Huh. Well, I guess that's fair. That's what I liked about it. It's just another uh, Adult Swim show. And all Adult Swim shows Swamp. are weird. Show me the swamp. There's not a single Adult Swim show that's not weird. For instance, Squidbillies. That is the opposite of a swamp. If you're not a f if you're not familiar with Squidbillies, let me fill you on on what it is. It's a bunch of rednecks, but they're literal squids. And that's the show. They're like hillbillies, but squids, so Squidbillies. And it's amazing. It's not amazing. It's amazing. Good Billies is by far one of the weirdest shows they have. Can somebody ever link to the uh, the ATHF DBZ mashup? I don't feel like Googling it and then also finding the correct one. So if you guys can toss it up there, I'd appreciate it. Yep, that's a big boy. Well, you see, some of the players... You just attack with this guy, yeah. Some of the players in our draft were able to hit their land drops. The Moonmen? The Moonmen are pretty good. That's funny because the movement are some of my favorite parts. Okay, so no, this is just the image though. I'm looking for the video. We did see the image ourselves. Black. Oh, look at that. We did it. My God. I find squid billies offensive. It trivializes my proud culture. I'm a squid. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what does that get back? Oh, we're gonna discard. What are we discarding here? Of course we probably did your spy bug. You were too late for this party, buddy. Uh no attackers. Do we have anything that we can get back that's reasonable here? Just this guy. Alright, well. We can steal this guy, I guess. We could also stolen this guy. We have no way to activate it, so it's just a two two. 
What is this? What is this radiating? Is that trample? I guess so. I have no idea what that's trying to say to me. If there's a swamp on top, I will be the most grateful magic player. Oh, for fudge. Well, there was a swamp. Which would you prefer to kill? God. That's vomitous. Vomitous. It's, it's, it's interesting because we can actually tap this down, give this neg 2, neg 4, and then kill it. But then we trade. It's pretty bad. I mean, I feel like it has to be this, but then we have then they have eight power on board, and then we have no profitable blocks, which is pretty bad. Like it literally has to be this, unfortunately. Uh, Dowser is decent. I think we're just dead. We block here. We take five. And then we play Dowser, and then we can... No, we can't actually even block with this. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Six, seven, eight. Nope, not blocking here. Don't play anything. If you don't play any creatures, we're good to go. I just... I literally asked you not to play anything. And you did. Wow. Alright, so that's the end. Either way, 4-2, not terrible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and meundies.com slash franklapore if you're looking for 15% off some sweet unders, uh, socks, tees, and lounge pants, and now onesies as well. You'll also get free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out if you guys are in the market for that kind of a thing, uh, which everyone is. Yeah, you know you need new underwear. Come on, just let's be real. But either way, really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will check you guys out next time.